Um, so ours is, do students care about sustainability? Uh, with our group, Jake, Bailey, and Mitchell, and myself, Nick. So sustainability focused on meeting the needs in the presence without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. So what that necessarily means is that businesses are watching out to make sure that they're gonna sustain, they're gonna stay in the future and be able to keep their business going past the current owners that are there now. So the whole idea of corporate sustainability is within corporate responsibility. So what that is, is that it's, there's three pillars of corporate responsibility, and that is the environment, social, and then economic. So all these factors build up, and then the sustainability is more focused on the environmental portion of it inside of the corporate. So this is important to students because it shows compassion and trust. So within the company, it's like, okay, they're gonna work with it, they're gonna watch the future. They're not just watching for now, they're watching for now and the future. Um, they help the environment out a lot, so it's, you're watching what they use to make it, the pollution and everything else inside it. So it also helps the employees too on the inside knowing that, okay, my job is gonna be more secure. So why is this relevant? Right now to students this is relevant for a consumer because you're the direct consumer of it. So you could be watching your health, you could be watching the environment, you could be doing a lot more for the business itself. To a non-consumer, I put that as someone who necessarily doesn't watch what they buy, watch the businesses, watch how they conduct their business because they'll affect their prices and affect the products that they buy now as if maybe they go out of stock or they don't make that product anymore. And then for businesses, it'll give them more of a competitive edge for people watching out for their diet, other things like that. And in the future, also sustainability is all about in the future. So now that you guys kind of understand sustainability now, it's our hypothesis was college students care about buying their product or service from a sustainable company because they can watch what they buy. So some of the goals are just kind of based off our hypothesis are college students are more likely to buy from a sustainable company and what businesses like, how they can do better. So I'm gonna be going over like the research question and as you guys saw on like, the first slide, it's like the same question here, do students like care about uh, like getting sustainable products? Uh, so are students more inclined to buy sustainable products? Uh, we found like a few like reviews just from like a few like the articles and stuff and the first one here, uh, most of like the consumers, which are like the millennials and like the Gen Z like population, uh, they all like say like more and more that uh, they want like the brands that embrace like the purpose and more like yeah and like more like environmentally like friendly like products uh, and we also found another uh, study that most of like the Gen Z like people are willing to pay 50 to 100 percent more for a sustainable product and all others are 25 percent more to buy like the product based on the sustainability and for the next one uh, do students care if uh, where like they're getting like their yeah so like if, like a student is out there and like they get like a product do they care that where they're getting the product from if like that yeah like if that like company actually practices like responsibility so uh, we found like a few more studies uh, that have shown that twenty percent of like the Gen Z like population cited that like the business like the ethics and sustainability were like the most like important and it like will help more like when like they go out like to buy like more products and avoid like the products that aren't. And for the next one, studies have also shown that nearly 90% of the consumers will buy a product that uh, works for like something that like they like themselves like advocate for. So if like there's like a company that works like with something and like the person who wants that product, if like they meet with like the same like, yeah, so that's like about it for that. Um, yeah, they, oh, you're good. Uh, so we're gonna be jumping back into more of like the survey. How are we collecting this data? Where are we collecting this data? So of course, that whole idea of corporate social responsibility and sustainability is kind of a confusing issue. So before we go into it, we just wanna talk about what we expect from our data. So we're expecting about 95% of that data to be good data, to be usable data, and have that good 5% of unusable data. Maybe they don't understand our certain, like you guys remember, our initial kind of preview of our survey didn't make a lot of sense. Uh, so we, we fixed those problems, we fixed those changes, but we expect that 5% of a lot of those surveys won't be usable data. So who is gonna be surveyed? We're focusing on students in the Midwest as a whole. 
So we're talking about graduating high school seniors because a lot of high school seniors nowadays are already in college. I mean, I've known people that have their uh, associate's degree before they actually go for their bachelor's while they're graduating high school. We're talking about current college students and we're talking about recent college graduates as well. So, this, so going into a little bit more, there's gonna be 17 total questions. We're looking for about 300 plus surveys that are being sent out with a response of 300 surveys to hit that margin that we're looking for. And we're also expecting that all participants are over the age of 18, and by taking our survey, they're consenting to be over the age of 18. So how can people access our survey? So they can access it via direct hyperlink, they can access it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, we're going out pushing the social media platforms um, because we're focusing on the millennial, Gen Z generation, and then via email, text message as well, maybe we got like a couple friends or something like that, and then via university sponsored landing pages as well. So as for our sample plan as to where it will be distributed, we're going to be distributing it throughout campus, through email and social media, as Jake said, to students in the Midwest, graduating high school seniors, high school or college students, and recently graduated college students. Why we're picking this target population, um, we'd like more opinions from a younger generation, a younger audience, specifically in the Midwest. Um, our study could be different from other studies due to the demographic, psychographic, and behavioral characteristics that students in the Midwest display. So these are our two condition images. Um, when you take our survey, you're only gonna be presented with one image, so it's a random um, assignment. And as you can see, one is made from 100% recycled materials and one is just the trusted shoe brand. <coughs> we chose Nike because it has general brand appeal um, and it's, it's just a pretty well-known brand that I think everybody can agree we all recognize. Um, as for our survey, so more often than not, we're seeing the younger generations practicing sustainability by switching from plastic to reusables um, and purchasing items that are compostable or has compostable packaging. Um, we're also noticing the younger generation holding companies accountable to their actions, whether or not the company is practicing corporate social responsibility. And so our questions are kind of pertaining to that. Um, our survey starts off with an introduction, encouraging participants to understand how important their results are to our study, as well as how important it is to the community. Um, after reading and accepting the possible risks associated, which is just general stress over being more sustainable, um, the participant will be presented with one of the two images that we presented before. Um, our first question is the likelihood of purchase for the shoe presented. We're using a bipolar Likert scale, options varying between never purchase to would purchase, not appealing to appealing, unlikely to likely, it does not matter to matters, and never thought, it, thought about it to have thought about it. This question is gonna give us an idea on whether or not this person would purchase this product, either knowing that it is 100% recyclable or it's not recyclable at all. The following question asked in the survey is addressing how the participant feels after seeing that advertisement. Um, again, using a bipolar Likert scale and the possible answers being sad to happy, confused to understood, unmotivated to motivated, skepticism to trust, and predictability to surprise. Here we're trying to understand the overall feeling towards the shoe, whether they're happy the product is sustainable or unhappy that it's not sustainable. <coughs> After those questions, the participant is then asked whether or not they would spend more, less, or exactly $80 on this product. Our goal for this question is kind of evaluating whether the student is willing to pay more for a possibly more sustainable product. Lastly, we are going to ask the participant if they would recommend this brand to a friend. After our main questions, we go into the demographics such as age, gender, education level, income levels, employment status, marital status, race, language spoken, political view, and zip code. Overall, we're looking to discover whether or not students are considering sustainability at all during the pre-purchase and purchase process. One of the, once these questions are completed, the, presentation, the participant is presented with a conclusion expressing gratitude and, for taking the time to participate in our survey and relaying that the survey is complete. So here is a CDS 2019 U.S. Consumer Sustainability Survey that we have found. Um, and it said that two-thirds of consumer, consumers consider sustainability when making a purchase. And 70% of the surveyors said that sustainability is somewhat important to them. 
we think that our results are going to be similar, if not higher than this with students because they are younger. Um, pending data, again, we will wait once that comes in, but like I said, we think that students are gonna be more concerned about sustainability than just anyone in America. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, you can ask those now.